Okay, let's talk about the EV3 motor versus the NXT motor. And as you can see, the, the overall general shape is very much uh, similar. The, the internal functions or the, the actual specs of the motor as far as RPM, torque, is very uh, much the same as what the NXT motor was. So there's no change in that aspect of it. But we've made some very subtle, uh, hopefully what people find very powerful changes to the motor itself. So let's look at those if we could first. Um, we want to make uh, um, obvious the, one of the first and um, most important changes is that we've dropped this drive head uh, slightly one module so that now, as you can see, we have a very intuitive way to create uh, gear trains that is in, very much in line with this back connection point. So now rather than working with an offset, we can very intuitively create uh, active and um, intuitive gear trains. The next thing that we want to look at that is very powerful and very important is uh, you'll notice in the connection points across the top and the bottom is now we have a cross hole in the middle. And what that gives us is a very intuitive and very quick way to capture motion with a minimum of pieces. You can see that uh, the cross hole goes in and it captures that piece and doesn't allow motion both there and then also in the back, which builders should find that very intuitive and easy to uh, take advantage of. The next thing that we want to make sure everybody is aware of is, again, a subtle change, but one that's important. If we look at the NXT motor, you'll see that there's a very curve, a gentle curve there, but that prohibited building very closely on either side. But now with this, um, this change to the EV3 motor, you can see that uh, beams can be uh, very quick, quickly connected on either side, top and bottom, and that gives us a chance to very quickly and very uh, strongly make a very secure connection uh, with that frame. And the last thing we want to make sure everybody notices is that we've actually added connection points both the top and bottom, which again uh, allows us with the minimum pieces to create a very intuitive, very uh, functional uh, square frame that makes a very sturdy, very functional robot with again a minimum of pieces.